Hey everyone, welcome back to another meal prep video. So starting off, I'm making this breakfast bake again because I made it in the last video. So I don't know if you guys need me to talk through it, but you can see what's happening on the screen anyway. It's very easy. Um, I really enjoyed having this for breakfast and you'll notice that this meal prep may even have more fats in it than last time because I've been trying to hit around things like 136 grams of fat per day and keeping my carbs really low, like 20 to 30 grams maximum. It's really been helping with the PCOS symptoms. I'm finding. Oh, and I've lost like a whole bunch of weight as well. Also making this low carb chicken curry. You can feel free, like if you're not low carb, add other stuff into it, of course. So you can add in like chickpeas and you can serve it with rice and all of that stuff, but I'm just having it kind of as is. Just chopping up some tomatoes to put in there and I'm going to add in the spices. I never really measure spices. Just let that simmer for a little bit on its own. And now I'm making these salmon and avo bites. These were my favorite. Oh my God, you guys need to try these if you like salmon. So um, get some salmon and some parmesan and some mayonnaise. You just need the, the fats and that texture there to help hold stuff together. And then salt and pepper. Also taking some garlic powder. For some reason I had no garlic in my cupboard, which is really absurd because I normally always have it. And then taking an avocado and I'm just gonna mash that in as well. Now swapping back to that curry, I'm just gonna add the coconut milk in. Now back to the salmon and avo bites, and I'm just gonna roll them in almond flour and cook them in avocado oil. Make sure that you have some paper towel down to drain off any excess oil. You don't wanna be serving it with the extra oil still sitting on it, Blech, that'd be kind of gross. Okay, baked salmon and mushroom. So I'm just gonna line a baking tray because the breakfast bake was ready to come out of the oven very shortly. So I was like, oh my God, I need to get the next thing ready. So that's why I started prepping this one. So I'm adding some mushrooms to it. And then also I'm gonna add some olive oil and some garlic granules. Add normal garlic if you have it. I don't know why I didn't have any. Salt and pepper, and then also some balsamic vinegar. Make sure you're keeping an eye on the salmon and avo bites as well because you don't want them to burn. Now I'm just taking my breakfast bake out of the oven because that cooked for 40 minutes and I'm gonna pop the salmon and mushrooms in and let that cook for 30. All this stuff's pretty easy. It took me about an hour and a half to make all of these. Now. I'm putting some salad with the salmon and avo bites because I'm going to have them cold. If you want to reheat them, obviously don't put the salad in the container or it will wilt. Also serving up that breakfast bake. Keep in mind, if you've never seen my meal prep videos before, this is not everything that I eat in a day. Um, I also have snacks and stuff. So I'm just cutting up some capsicum and I'm going to have it with cream cheese. I'm just putting them in containers so it's convenient and like ready to go. And some no-bake peanut butter balls. So I guess this is more like a high fat take on your usual date balls, protein balls, that kind of thing. Taking some cacao, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a couple of drops of liquid sweetener, a tiny bit of thickened cream, three large tablespoons of peanut butter. And I also added in some coconut oil, which I forgot to add in the clip of me doing that, but I did add some in. Just swapping back to serving up that salmon and mushroom while I've just taken it out of the oven and then I'm going to go back and do the messy work of actually making the peanut butter balls. So just rolling them in the coconut because again another extra serving of fat in that coconut there. And then it's all done. It's very easy. If you want to make all these same ones it'll probably take you about an hour and a half if you can keep on top of things and stay by the kitchen. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, hit subscribe. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you all next time. Bye.